Failing to disinfect properly in accordance with this video could mean that you run the risk of contracting COVID-19 and doing nothing to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Using antiseptic wipes and simply wiping down surfaces does absolutely nothing to prevent the widespread of coronavirus. It's as effective as a chocolate fire guard. Welcome to this video which will show you how to make a high pressure COVID-19 disinfection sprayer which is of similar specifications to the Chinese virologists. You will also learn how to make a COVID-19 disinfection solution to the standards of the Centre for Disease Control and what safety equipment you should be wearing to protect yourself in an infected area. COVID-19 is a type of coronavirus which originated in Wuhan, China. It works by surviving within the air and on surfaces and gets into the body through the respiratory system or the eyes and sticks itself to your cells using its many spikes on the surface of the cell and then hijacks your cells using the cell to produce clones of itself which are then released into the rest of the body and expelled out of the body through coughs, sneezes or the release of other bodily fluids. The virus can last days on surfaces and can float mid-air for around three hours. To this date, the most effective method to disinfect an area of COVID-19 is through using a high-pressure sprayer. You can see them being used all over the world, especially in China. And as of today, China have declared no new cases in the Hebei province. So this method is effective. As you can see, they are not just household sprayers. They are heavy duty commercial grade sprayers that you would struggle to find on the market. The reason for this is that general household sprayers are not high pressure and so do not generate an atomized spray which gives maximum contact within the air. Using a high pressure sprayer ensures that the disinfection solution has the most chance to take down the COVID-19 cells both within the air and on surfaces. A bleach solution is recommended by the Centre of Disease Control. They recommend mixing five tablespoons of bleach per 4.5 litres of water. In this video I use a 9 litre rechargeable fire extinguisher. So you'd have to mix 10 tablespoons of bleach with 9 litres of water to meet the guidelines of the CDC. You'll have to first empty the fire extinguisher by squirting out all of the water and pressure. You can then fill the extinguisher up by unscrewing the top or by inserting this steel fitting into the threaded hole and unscrewing it by using it as a fulcrum or a lever. Once you've filled it with solution, screw the top back on and unscrew the hose. We will be using this fitting to recharge the extinguisher with pressure and to connect our hose. Please see the links in the description below to all the products used in this video. Screw the fitting in. You might want to use some thread tape around the thread to make it airtight. Now you can insert your hose. You'll want one small 10 cm piece of tubing to connect to your check valve fitting. This prevents the air or water going the opposite way to where you want it. So point the arrow towards the extinguisher since we are adding gas into the extinguisher to repressurize it. You then want to continuously squeeze the trigger which will open up the cylinder so you can pump air into it. And once you've reached the desired pressure, you can then let go and this will then block off the cylinder and shut in the pressure. So once you've got the trigger squeezed, you want to connect the hose to either an air compressor, which is linked below in the description, or an air pump. And pump air into the ex extinguisher to achieve a high pressure. A pressure between 7 to 10 bar is ideal, but this de pressure will all depend on what your fittings are safety rated to. The check valve fitting I have linked appears to be rated to 12 bar, 
so this seems ideal, but please do your own checks. Please be very careful when recharging your extinguisher, and don't forget to use eye protection, as you are using a bleach solution, and this can be particularly damaging if it fires back into your You can your check eyes. the pressure using the gauge on the side of the extinguisher. Once the cylinder is pumped up, immediately release the trigger to block the cylinder pressure, and now you can remove the check valve and add your spray nozzle. The spray nozzle that I'm using is the perfect size for the hose. You can find it in the description below. It comes as a unit of five nozzles on one fitting. So you can either use five to get maximum coverage or you can just use one. When going to an infected area, you will also want to wear protective overalls, an eye mask, gloves and a respirator to prevent any virus cells getting into your body. Links are in the description below. Please do not breathe in any of the bleach solution vapour, as this can be very dangerous. As you can see, the coverage is massive. You could always add another four nozzles to this, as is linked in the description below. This, of course, is just one nozzle functioning. This is perfect for tackling COVID-19 cells that are hovering mid-air and also scattered delicately across all surfaces. Thank you for watching. Please see the links in the description below and I hope this video can go somewhere in disinfecting the world.